Peace, everybody. What it was, what it is, what it will be, your man, Urban Monk in the temple. And if you would like entry into the temple, all you got to do is hit the subscribe button, man. Now you can like, you can unlike, you can even comment, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, there's nothing like hitting that subscribe button, man. Becoming part of the family. You become a subscriber, you become a monk. And if you have any suggestions, requests, or information regarding any of the groups that we review, react to, or interact with <laughs> or two, all you got to do, man, is hit me up at temple of the monk at gmail.com. That's monk with a Q, temple of the monk at gmail.com. Monk with the Q. We're going to dip into some more shiny now. There are some songs on the shiny discography that pop up that are not MVs. There are no MVs, but I did find the songs, the lyric videos to them. There's a lot, and I've been informed by a lot of people. Um, matter of fact, big up to big up to all the monks that helped me out: Jessica, Anitra, I and Julia, um, Jaslyn, uh, Haley. It, it's so many people, man, that hit me up. That hit me up on the email. I'm about to pull it out right now so you can see, like all the people. Oops all the people that um, have put it in. Look, I even got some more emails. So yeah, Jessica, of course, um, on you. On you's the homie right there, <laughs> always represent. And Melinda, Melinda is a beast when it comes to giving information out. Shauna is too. Then there's Shauna Brooks, uh, or there's Cynthia, Haley. We got Haley down there. Uh, Juliana, Adali, and I hope I pronounced that right. George, R uh, Rios, Samuel Seymour, I mean, Kush Boo, of course, Kyung Soo, Sheila Brown, Coco Chanel. I mean, the list goes on. It goes on. But let me check, check this out. One of the monks here, so Melinda, sent me a uh, like insane, insane. Let me see if I can find I'm going to see if I can find it real quick. And this is why I tell people to email because I can easily lose. There's so many comments coming through on here. Also, big up to KS. KS has been helping me out, Melinda. Shiny are known for their live vocals and amazing dancing. Now, let me say this. I made a statement on Shiny's video for replay. The live version. And I said that it would be impossible for them to both dance and sing because I haven't witnessed anybody who could do a full throttle dance routine and sing until I saw Shiny. And um, it was insane because it was a full on dance. It was a full-on dance, and they were not lip-syncing. So S. James, who corrected me on the comments and said, you know, he liked everything, wished me luck and everything, and, and, and showed love, but he said, I got to correct you on it because Shiny is very capable. And, and it was weird because I saw the video of them performing this live before I saw that comment, and I felt stupid. So I retract that statement. And next time I'm going to be careful about what I say, especially with new groups that I'm not familiar with, because, you know, some things that I've experienced, I may not, I haven't seen any, everything. I definitely have not seen anything like that to where a group can do a full on dance like that and sing. I haven't seen it. And maybe there's others out there I have not seen. I just have not seen it. And you'll hear me talk about it in one of the videos, I think with Super Junior that I did regarding how sometimes recorded versions of the concert will be made so that it gives, you know, the artist, you know, breathing room so they can dance and do their thing live. Or sometimes they even have, you know, people who step in ad libs. You know, I think a lot of that happens with rappers, but have to do that. But I was told Shiny actually runs while they're singing. That's how they train. They will run while they sing, which would explain that performance. So, okay, so um, yeah, Shiny are known for their live vocals and amazing, amazing dancing. They are known as uh, CD quality singers. And I said that they were one of the groups, uh, them and EXO so far, were one of the groups who, when they sing live, sound just as good. When, matter of fact, the global request joint for EXO, when I was listening, I said they sound just like the recording. And um, yes, the same stands holds true for, for, for Shiny because they sound just as good as the live, if not better, than they do record it. Shiny always sings live, always sings live. The only thing they are not good at is lip syncing. <laughs> if you are horrible at lip syncing, but you, you, you straight shut down live shows, that, that's, 
good. That says a lot. That means you probably never lip sync. And so why would you be good at something that you're not familiar with, right? So they avoid it at all costs. So when you hear Shiny singing 95% of the time, it will be live. They have trained their entire career to be able to sing live and always sound flawless while performing extremely complex choreography. You really should check out some more of their live performances, which we will do, of course, after every MV, if it can be found, because their stages are like none of it. Their concerts last three to four hours straight and they perform nonstop and never sound out of tune or out of breath. They're also one of the best dancers in K-pop and they have some true, some of the best harmonies you will ever hear. Also true. If you know EXO, then you know how good a vocalist they are. Well, uh, the members of Shiny actually were mentors to a lot of the EXO members and they helped coach them in their singing. The EXO members and Shiny members are all around the same age and uh, they were in the same trainee classes together. And yet Shiny debuted four years before EXO. So that just goes to show you a little bit of what makes Shiny so amazing and why they are considered legends. And, and she has other, she, that's, that's the kind of, uh, that's why I give, always get the monks love because of stuff like this. Definitely because of stuff like this. So in any case, we're gonna dip into this song and this song, okay, never heard it before. I uh, went, I got their discography and tried to make sure I get some of the songs may, hopefully, hopefully not, but I'm not going to try to mix them up too much. Um, if I come across something and one is before, I'm going to try to go in order as much as possible, but that might fail a little bit. Okay. Um, just a little bit, just a little bit. But in any case, man, we are going to definitely make sure we try to cover as much shiny as possible. Same thing with EXO, same thing with NCT, same thing with Red Velvet, same thing with BTS, all this, all in uh, Super Junior, all these groups that I'm going to get into. And you're going to see a lot. It's going to be crazy busy in here. I'm telling you. But I lined everything up. I lined everything up. And this is why I'm able to do mul uh, multiple series at the same time. We're going to get into it, man. This is... Uh, love's way. Y'all know what's going down. If you ready, I'm ready. So let's do this. Kaja. Finest taste from the universe. The most shining of the world. Shining. Okay, so this is okay. I double check it and make sure I didn't have the wrong song because that's Force MDs tend to love right there. That instrumental is Force MDs tend to love. Um, this is gonna be another one of those EXO experiences, man. I know it. I know it. Y'all know what happened on Ya Ya Ya. Too much. Classic. That's right. Yeah. 
감동 자꾸 말해보기 사랑해 널 사랑해 피곤한 나 우리 표정도 서로 위해서 감추고 나 어떻게 이렇게 도 달라 그대도 그녀 만나고 싶었지 는내 맘을 몰라 날 계속 살게 해 그녀 느낄 수 있게 우리 너무 달라도 사랑은 계속 해야 해 꿈처럼 사라지는 사랑은 맞지 않나 막지도 전해지는 그런 사랑은 원했나 날 만나 황금 마차는 꿈속에서도 못하 그래도 날 만나는 동안 너 늦게 해줄 수 있지 않나 That's auto tune before auto tune. People go into the studio to sound like that, right? I want to go right back to that chorus. I'm sorry, I'm going right back to the chorus again. Watch how he comes in. That's like auto tune. That's auto tune before auto tune. Here it is. Look at Monica. I was able to read it, but the contrast was horrible. That's the only thing I have, the only problem I have with this video. Should have been a darker background. But it's not their fault that I can't see. Ah, oh, fucking amazing, dude. Holy shit. Let's do the music first of all. Classic, 4SMDs, Tend to Love, man. Literally classic. Literally, you can't. Come on, man. Come on, dude. The lyrics, talking about like, and it's crazy because I could relate to that when, or actually an email should be able to relate to that. When it comes to like, when it comes to expressing yourself emotionally to a, a female that you love, I mean, one, I mean, if you guys have, you know, history, like me and my wife, we can, we can say what we need to say to one another because we've been together five or more years. But when it's, when you're trying to express your feelings to a woman, like for instance, with my wife, when we got together, I had to muster up, kind of like muster up how I was gonna propose and what I was gonna say, and even so much as asking her to date or even engagement, you know what I mean? When we talked about it, it wasn't the easiest thing, you know what I mean? And sometimes it's hard to express to somebody that you have feelings for, but maybe you're just seeing for the first time or maybe you guys started off as friends you know what I mean and when you have to express those feelings words are hard to come by you don't want to sound corny you don't want to sound stupid and you don't want to sound desperate so <laughs> you try to come up with the words the crazy thing is not only that but it's almost like this talks about um, the beginnings of relationships <laughs> Uh, the history of relationships, maybe, you know, you guys are together already. That's what I'm getting from it. And we guys are together already. And you, of course, anybody knows, I don't care what kind of relationship you have, you're going to get into arguments. But through those arguments, man, it kind of refine your relationship. 
You know what I'm saying? You were, you, you guys get angry and you, you, we, we, it happens with us. We get angry, but I know that without, I can't live without, without my wife. I can't. Um, and I've told her that before. Like, you know what? Yes. When you're angry, I get upset. But for the most part, she is the woman who keeps the family in tune and in line. And if I'm overdoing it, like if I'm extra with the kids and I shouldn't be, she says, you know what? You're being too rough. You need to stop. You're doing too much. You don't have to do that. You know what I mean? Um, if she's upset, I leave her alone because <laughs> usually she's right. <laughs> usually she's right. But in any case, I can honestly say that I think that my personality has refined because of the arguments we've had. Why? Because if she's upset at me, usually it's because she really cares and that's her way of expressing it. And no matter how much you try to fine tune somebody, that's just a part of their being, you know what I mean? And sometimes you can tweak it, but you can never really change it. Sometimes you got to accept, especially if, if, if you're man or woman enough to own up to the fact that, look, man, sometimes the arguments happen because you're being a dick. <laughs> You know what I mean, you cause the arguments through your actions or the way you, you know, certain things you do or don't do. Arguments, man, they help refine a relationship, but you gotta take initiative and own up to the fact that you fucked up. A lot of people aren't, don't, I don't wanna do it. I, I, I try to, I don't wanna do it, but I, I've done it. I've done it where I had to be like, you know what, you're right. Sometimes it take a couple of days, but I've done it. And I like these lyrics, man, cause I can relate to that. You know, it talks about maybe down the road, no matter how many of these arguments we have, there's gonna be a time when we don't have arguments anymore. I don't believe that's completely true, but there's gonna be a time where it's just all happiness and there's no, there's no stress. I like this, man. I like this. Not just because of the music, but the lyrics. I was reading the lyrics and like, yo, I get it. I really get it. <sighs> Y'all know what's going down, man. Subscribe, like, share. Leave a comment below, please. Even if you give me a thumbs down, tell me why. Let's talk about it, man. Grow together, share knowledge, and build community. And until the next time, man, as we enter Chinese world, peace. Spot, getting plenty props cause I'm Louis Cali any hot till my body rotten and it running up I spray them down like the body shop finger bang just get with four fingers like karate chop I'm bragging more than you imagine to the non-factors and sagging cause we still getting spelling everything backwards sometimes I forget lines like gold-plated actors so I guzzle a 50 act till I regurgitate